come out and face me. <laughs> hey everyone, my name is Mike, and welcome back to Telltale Games Game of Thrones. In the last part, we started off playing as Asher, and he was escaping with his friend Beshka and his uncle Malcolm from the soldiers that were chasing them down. And they ran into Daener one of Daenerys' um, dragons in a cave and um, survived that um, battle. And then we moved on to Garrod and he said his vows and actually joined the Night's Watch now. So we're going to resume the game. I think we're still playing as Garrod back at Castle Black. And we'll see what happens when we resume game. Let's go. The Watch now. Means we get to piss off the wall whenever we want. Didn't know you needed an excuse to play with yourself, Finn. Garrett, you've got a visitor. Over there. Well, who is it? Do I look like your fucking squire? So we've got a visitor over where? There? Oh, it's, it looks like, um, is it Jacob? Is that his name? Wait, let me guess his name. Duncan, Duncan is his name. Don't forget the practice yes. Shot. Uncle Duncan! Garrett! It's good to see you. They told me you were at the Weirwood Tree. Wasn't sure you'd be back in time. What brings you here? A business with the Night's Watch. A delivery of ironwood shields to keep you all out of harm's way. That settles it then? Aye, the delivery looks in order. Oh, the gods do grant miracles. You look well, nephew. I'm told you're a ranger now. That's good. Uncle? Things aren't going well at Ironrath, Garrett. I know. I heard the news about Ethan. I was standing not five feet from him when Ramsay struck. It's a nightmare that plagues my dreams. But House Forrester is nothing if not resilient. Our house has survived for centuries. Let me help, Uncle. I can't just sit here at the wall while our enemies are circling Ironrath. That's why I'm really here. Do you recall Lord Forrester's last words to you? Um, it was to Just give. I don't know. I can't remember. Gregor's final command, spoken to you in confidence. Is that the North Grove? Yes. He said the North Grove must never be lost. That's it. Indeed, but first it must be found. I've been reading his journals, scouring the legends for any clue what Lord Forrester knew. I think I found the answer. Describes a fortification, a protected citadel of sorts, hidden from the world, one filled with great power. It was scattered among his notes. Almost an obsession, a vital secret he protected at all costs. And you think it's north of the wall? His notes suggest as much. And you must find it, Garrett. The search won't be easy, but you're a tuttle. Our Lord knew you wouldn't fail him. Somewhere north of the wall. That's not a lot to go on, Uncle. How am I supposed to find it? The first chance you get to head north, take it. And then? You leave the Night's Watch behind and strike out on your own. Oh, shit. This is no small request I make. I know that. But there's no other choice. Uncle, that's desertion. Did the Night's Watch execute men who desert? I know. I wouldn't ask this of you if there was another way. This will help guide you. I found it hidden in Lord Forrester's strongbox. What is that? A page from our Lord's journal. But one he tore out and kept separate. Why? I don't know. It's a map. To the North Grove. Aye. Only Lord Forrester knew what the North Grove was. Like, what is it? I don't actually know. All right, let's just read this. Bloody ice dragon. Gods be good. Now that I would love to see. So it says the North Grove beneath the watchful eye of the ice dragon. That's a clue then of what we will see. This looks familiar. What is it, Garrett? Talia gave me this. Before I left. <gasps> That's just a sigil, isn't it? Wait. Lord Forrester gave Ethan a similar one as well. Roderick too. I wonder... 
You wonder what if it's a key? It's a mammoth. mammoth. <laughs> this map's only missing grumpkins and snarks. This can't be real, Uncle. Castle ruins. You said it was a citadel of some kind. Could this be it? No. No, it couldn't be that easy. It's hidden here somewhere. Is it hidden in the tree? I used to be frightened of where with trees. Well, before I was a man grown. I swear. I actually could hear them whispering sometimes. Well, there's not much else to look at, is there? Okay, there's writing and then there's this. Let's look at the writing first. Hear the werewoods whisper. Hmm. So I think our first thing to do is to go back to the tree, because that's some kind of clue of what to do. Look. There's a clasp. Well, we can open this. Must open. Let's open it then. I had no idea this was inside. Another werewood. Hmm. But why? Maybe it's a key. To solve in the map. Alright, can we put it over the tree? Oh shit, let's take a Okay. We can rotate it. Let's go right for it. Let's just keep turning it till we find out. Well, that's the right place. Maybe it's telling us where to look on the map. Alright, so now we can put it somewhere else. Um where would it fit well? I don't actually know. I'm guessing you got to make the branches connect to the trees. Hang on, is it got to face right way around as well, or... Okay, this is difficult now. I'm not sure... Oh, it's zooming in. Oh, it's the whole map that has to turn. Huh? Werewood's mouth, Uncle. Whatever this place is, the North Grove must be near. There's only one way to find out. Here, take this map. I don't even know what they just saw there. May well depend on your success. It's a lot to put on your shoulders. The lives of a whole house. Well, I'll try, Uncle. It's no small task. I'm still just a squire. I know what I'm asking of you. But I know you're up to the challenge. I thought I was a ranger. Gods watch over you. You're the son I never had. Let's go, Garrett. So that makes Garrett's story quite interesting now. He's not just on the wall anymore. There's something beyond the wall that he's really got to figure out. That's pretty cool. Alright, so Finn and Cotter have called me over. I'm guessing they're gonna just gonna watch the wall now. Mysterious. A stranger arrives and you're chatting him up. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? Looked like you two had a lot to talk about. Must have been important to come to Castle Black. He's Castellan to House Forester. They sell ironwood to the builders. So you were just talking about lumber all that time? It looked like he gave you something. It was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. Already keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? Ah, uh, Garrett's right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. All we had to say there was that, you know, he's family. So we were just talking about how everyone's getting on back at House Forrester. Family matters, you know? Alright, I'm gonna guess we're gonna go to King's Landing now. And see Mira. Myra. I can't remember her name. Because I think she's still alive, isn't she? <laughs> That's the only character we haven't actually... Oh, we've got Roderick as well, of course. Yeah, King's Landing. There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. Is this Joffrey's wedding they're talking about? No. We're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at Highgarden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. I'm sure it will be a wedding for the ages, Sarah. I've been meaning to say, 
What I told you about my family, it means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. Oh yeah, she's a bastard, isn't she? Forgot about that. We have to stick together, be careful who you trust. My trust doesn't come free. Oh. If handmaidens don't help each other in King's Landing, nobody will. Thank you, Mira. And you You've got to get as many friends as you can you in this universe, oh, I think. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. Who's he? I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to He's a bit old, isn't he? Marjorie won't notice it for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Please. I'm not asking for much. Yeah. Go on then. It'll be fine. The wedding's still days away. Thank you, Mira. I knew I could count on you. Oh, there's a coal boy. He killed... We killed someone, didn't we? Someone tried to have us killed, so we killed them. Go to him. I know. Oh, shit. I should have weighed them off, I think. Because we're kind of in a public place. I oh, know I shouldn't be here, but we have to talk. Um, I didn't know when I would see you next. Are you alright? I'm fine. Thank you. I just needed to warn you. What? I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about. Shh! Um, nothing to see here. They already know he's missing. Probably dead. They're questioning people. Searching for his body. It's not safe. Please tell me you took care of it. Of course. I told you I would. No one will know what you did. So why are you warning me then? What? What is it? What? If oh yeah, the knife. Office, there can't be any details we've overlooked. I, I still have his knife. Oh. Oh no. Just keep it hidden. Yeah, we chose to keep it. it. Meantime, just stay out of sight. How? Do you forget who I serve? Just don't get in any more trouble. And I'll I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. You saved my life. I don't even know your name. It's It's Tom. Thank you, Tom. Don't thank me yet, Lady Mira. There's still a knife out there covered with a dead man's blood. And I don't... Mira! Hey. My lady. She's surely going to keep this secret now because we kept so many of her secrets. A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy. Not don't be a bitch. Wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing, you just don't want to spoil your chances of a good marriage. Can we just keep it between us? I prefer nobody knows. Of course. That's what friends do. She seems a bit Come suspicious on. saying that. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well, first of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about this festival they have. And I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamere? I trust you've chosen all the standards. But just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace. My Lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his King's Guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we- What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going your to grace, speak out of turn, girl... I... You should finish what you start. Sarah's simply in awe of your presence, your grace. We're happy to spend the feast wherever it pleases you. Your happiness is not my concern. <laughs> I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the king. She was deferential to the crown then, as she is now. But words are wind. In any case, it's settled. 
The king's guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Okay. Of course, your grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. Mm, everyone knows everything in King's Landing. There's no secrets. What did she mean by that? You and Tyrion? What you uh, do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. Tyrion... He offered to help my family. He did? Then surely he expects something in return. Sarah, what do you know of this? Tyrion approached us, my lady. It was his idea, not Mira's. I don't care what your intentions were, Mira. You went to a Lannister behind my back. He came to me. I only ever tried to help you. Why are you making trouble for me? Sorry. <laughs> I did what I had to do, my family's desperate. Please just trust me. My family needs me. We're losing everything. I have to do whatever I can to help them. I'm not blind to your pain, Mira. But your problems are not the only ones in the world. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Never seen her so angry. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. I'm sorry, my lady. I made a mistake. It won't happen again. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. Why does she not want to go home? I thought she was kind of held prisoner here like everyone else. But it seems like she actually wants to be here. She wants to kind of make something of her life by being in King's Landing. One day become a queen or somewhere, I guess. And there's a battle going on. What's this? Roderick's having flashbacks of the Red Wedding, it seems. Still got the Bolton Roderick, soldiers the outside. Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. No, White Hills, excuse me, not Bolton's. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. They want to see us cower in our own house. Don't worry, Charlie. I'll deal with them. Hurry. I'll check on Mother. Okay. I've got to do something now. So many times, me playing as Duncan or anyone in charge, I've always made, like, shit decisions. And I need to, like, be confident in my choices right now. And what I have to say. What is this? It's a parade of dead men if I have my way. <gasps> Dickhead, stop it. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? Stop and disperse. Who is in charge here? Who's in charge here? Behind this! Come out and face me! <laughs> <laughs> Those are strong words for a cripple who can't carry a sword. All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill, fourth born son of Lord Lud Whitehill and commander of this garrison. Didn't someone mention Don't him before? Griff used to call you, swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you. Hey, Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognise you, but the name fits, don't it? <laughs> Pathetic. Make no mistake, Griff. I'm still the Lord of Ironrath, and I run this house. That sounds like the old Roderick, beating his chest every chance he got. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now. And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. <laughs> so my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. 
What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live, but not us. I don't care if you're happy or not. You'll quarter what I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done, pushing wine on them, turning them into drunkards. That ends now. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. You think you're being clever? Your men aren't fucking guests. We'll get what I give them and be thankful for it. Watch yourself, Roderick. This is against the King's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. We're here under the orders of Roose Bolton, Warden of the North. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please. You can't do this, Smith. Bastard. You can't just do whatever... We'll do what we were sent here to do. You're mad, Griff. This is my house and you will do as I say. Why should I listen to some cripple with half a face? Now, me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. No. You know better than that. You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. Roger, stop them. You can't let them do this. We're being walked over too many times. You can't go in there. We can and we will. Unless you want this all to end right now. Eh? Yes. <laughs> I'm the only lord here. Come on. Roderick's been walked over too many times. It, that didn't stop them. All I said was, no, don't go in there. Didn't exactly work, that did it. Alright guys, once again, we're going to end the episode here. Just because um, we transition to a new scene here. We're pushing on 20 minutes now in the, then for this part. So thanks for watching, guys. And hopefully Roderick gets some balls and maybe and gets a bit healthier so he can hopefully kick this guy's ass because he's pissing me off now. <laughs> so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.